Hi, I'm Jim Veach with Hobby PCB, and today I'm going to show how to interface an Elecraft K2 transceiver to the Hard Rock 50 power amplifier for automatic band control and push to talk. The K2 must be equipped with a KIO2 interface board, and the Hard Rock 50 must have firmware version 4 or later, and the accessory baud rate needs to be set to 4800, and the KX3 mode needs to be set to yes. Hobby PCB makes an interface board that makes the physical interface between the two quite simple. The board has two DB9s, one is labeled K2, and that goes to the transceiver. The other is labeled HR50, which goes to the Hard Rock 50. You can plug the, the physical board into either unit, and then use the supplied cable to attach the other one. Um, it's easier for me to put the dongle on the Hard Rock 50 because the Hard Rock 50 is vertical and the transceiver is sloped. So I will attach the cable to the end that says K2 and then plug the interface board into the amplifier. Then I will plug the other end of the cable into the back of the K2. I'm going to zoom in a little so we get a good shot at what's going on here. Now, you always want to turn on the radio first in this scenario. So we'll power the radio, and then we'll power the amplifier. Uh, you can see that they're both on 20 meters, uh, and the keying is set to push to talk in the amplifier. And if I change this to 40 meters, you'll see that the band automatically changes on the amplifier. And if I tune the radio, you can see that the amplifier jumps up to 63 watts. Maybe I'm hitting it a little bit hard. So we'll turn that down. And if I zoom out, the other out, you can see that our uh, watt meter is showing that we're getting a solid 50 watts out. So now you can uh, interface your K2 to the Hard Rock 50 amplifier and have a little bit more power. Thanks for watching.